God's peace be with you. We are told in the Bible, in Philippians 4 verse 6, have no anxiety at all. How is that possible? How can any normal person have no anxiety in society and in the world today? There indeed is much to be anxious and even afraid about. Thieves roam the streets. Rapists look for victims. Spouses can no longer be sure of lifelong marriage. Terrorists can strike anywhere. Many economies are in shambles. Pathogens are in the air. People are anxious about what each new day brings. Reading and watching the news only intensifies the feeling that things are seriously wrong in the world. No, not just in some faraway place, but right in our own neighborhoods, affecting the various people we interact with from day to day. What is the basis for Paul's seemingly unreasonable exhortation to have no anxiety at all? It is this, that God is in control, and that God is a loving Father who wants only what is best for us, His children. We know of God's unconditional love as He sent His very own Son, Jesus, into the world to suffer and die for us. Paul tells us in Romans 8, verse 31 to 32, What then can we say to this? If God is for us, who can be against us? He who did not spare his own son, but handed him over for us all, how will he not also give us everything else along with him? This after Paul assures the Romans in Romans 8.28, We know that all things work for good for those who love God, who are called according to his purpose. Here we have two conditions. One, that we love God. And two, that we are called according to God's purpose. God loves us and we love God. We might fail in fully loving Him, but that is what we strive to do. Now, if we allow God to have His way with us, if we strive to live out His purposes in our lives, then we can be assured that all things will work for our good. Things might not be turning out all that well in our life for the moment, but we must trust in God's assurance. Thus, we need not be anxious. In fact, God has the greatest of plans for us. Being inheritors of God's covenant with His chosen people Israel, we also inherit His promises. God tells His people through the prophet Jeremiah, in Jeremiah 29 verse 11, For I know well the plans I have in mind for you, Oracle of the Lord. Plans for your welfare and not for woe, so as to give you a future of hope. God is all-powerful. If He wills it, it will be done. So we are assured, God looks to our welfare, does not intend woe in our lives, and gives us a future full of hope. With that, how can we be anxious about anything? God goes further. He says in Jeremiah 29, verse 12 to 14, When you call me and come to and pray to me, I will listen to you. When you look for me, you will find me. Yes, when you seek me with all your heart, I will let you find me, oracle for the Lord, and I will change your lot. When we call in prayer, God listens. The Almighty God, the Creator of the universe, the all-powerful God, He will listen and it will change your lot. Now, however, given all this, we do know from experience, even as we have already given our lives over to God, that we do experience negatives and pain in life. How can we avoid anxiety? In order to rest in God, we need to be intimately connected with Him all the time. Knowing that God has His great plan for us, we need to try to discern what that plan is, so that we can conform our lives to it. Many bad things happen to people because they have strayed from God's plan and path. To be connected means prayer. We need to live a life of prayer, which is communication and intimacy with God. If one is to avoid anxiety, we need to replace anxiety with prayer. As Paul tells the Philippians, in Philippians 4, verse 6, Have no anxiety at all, but in everything, by prayer and petition, 
with thanksgiving, make your requests known to God. As we pray and petition God for our needs, we are already thanking Him, confident that He hears and answers. While God already knows what He is committed to do for us, it is we who are anxious. And so when we pray, as we rest in the bosom of God, we, like little children, bring to Him our cares and concerns. This is not for God's benefit, for He already knows all we need. Rather, it is for our benefit, as in our human frailty, we oftentimes need the assurance that comes from having voiced what is in our hearts. What is the result? Then the peace of God will sur that surpasses all understanding will guard your hearts and minds in Christ Jesus. Philippians 4 verse 7. As God sees that we are there drawing closer to Him and turning the well-being of our lives over to Him, then He is assured that we are in the right place. Anxiety has brought us closer to God, and as such, it has served a good purpose. Now, God replaces our anxiety with peace. God bless you.